This little thing over here is the Molex 2mm connector. You can find it on tiny batteries for tiny toy drones. But can it handle any real current? I'm Mark from Drone Lab and this is everything you need to know about the Molex 2mm connector. The miniature Molex has a funky flat rectangular design with a white plastic case and flat metal prongs. It locks in place securely and handles pretty well. It's much smaller than an XC60 connector and that's why you can find it on all the tiny drones where every piece of a gram counts. Annoyingly, manufacturers can't seem to agree on the polarity of this connector and you can find them wired in two different ways. If you manage to connect the wrong battery to a right connector, you will break something. Hobby King is even nice enough to put this barely legible warning text. If you stumble on a battery that doesn't match your setup, you can fairly easily swap the polarity around. Just push something in here to pull out the contact, use a sharp knife to bend this tab back up, use some tape to secure it when it's outside, and repeat for the other pin. Make sure that you hear a click when you push the pins back into the housing. And obviously, don't try to save time by poking both pins simultaneously with metal tweezers. Another thing manufacturers can't seem to agree on is the name of the thing. You can sometimes find it listed as a two-pin Molex connector or a lossy compatible connector. But it's all the same thing, and actually none of this is the correct part name. But then again, Molex 51006 doesn't really fly off the tongue very easily. We can find the official datasheet and we can find that it's only rated 2 amperes. That's not enough for even the smallest of drones, but we do have a reason to believe that this rating is conservative and we also do have a 600 amp power supply, so of course we're gonna test this. We found out that in airflow it can handle up to 12 amps of continuous current, but once we started testing 10 second bursts, things started to get very interesting. 15 amps was not a problem for the Molex. But at 20 amps, we did notice a little bit of smoke and some melting. Other connectors we tested would simply desolder when we abused them, but the Molex is different. The Molex is a crimped connector. That means that the contacts aren't soldered to the wire. So if you were to buy all the parts separately, you would need a specialized crimping tool to assemble everything. These tools are very expensive, so you're probably better off just buying a pre-crimped connector that comes with a piece of wire. Just like these two here. So, with no solder to melt, can this connector handle infinite current? Let's see what happens at 30 amps. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah. No, it cannot handle 30 amps. But wait a minute, let's have one more look at one of the batteries we saw at Hobby King. 750 milliamp hours, 65C continuous discharge. Let me grab my calculator. 0.750 times 65. That's 48.75 amps, which equals guaranteed fire. Thanks, Hobby King. Hobby King. It's important to point out that all these tests were performed on a connector with a 24 gauge silicon wire. You can get them with thinner wires, but you shouldn't. And to finish off these tests, let's have a look at the contact resistance. And more interestingly, compare it to a JST, which actually has a higher resistance than the Molex. It's being outperformed by this super tiny connector. But, according to our practical tests, the JST does handle a little more current in punching. We're guessing it's because the JST has a little more metal in the connector that acts as a heatsink. And that more metal is definitely visible on this scale. The Molex is an absolute featherweight that weighs less than half of a JST, even though it performs nearly as good. So in conclusion, the Molex is a very viable connector for ultralight drones, with 2 inch props or smaller, tiny motors like 1103s, and basically any drone that takes less than 16 amps in full punch. Just be sure to buy these connectors pre-crimped with gauge 24 silicon wire. If you have any questions, feel free to ask them in the comment section, and I hope this video was helpful. See you around.